Hi everybody, I'm Brenda Martinez here from the Santa Cruz Guitar Company here with Mr. Richard Hoover and we got some really cool and exciting new wood to show you. Richard, do you mind telling the folks about this beautiful and rare piece of East Indian rosewood? Um, with pleasure. Uh, you know, well, people know our story about using uh, responsibly harvested old woods and uh, the biggest benefit to that is uh, better sound in the guitar, uh, better cosmetics, uh, and all in all superior wood. And uh, the cool part is we don't have to cut a tree to get it. Um, why don't we do this all the time? <laughs> well, we do. We do in the sense that we use uh, reclaimed wood from down trees, uh, trees that have been hit by lightning, uh, blown down by wind, and they're older. Uh, and one of the beauties of this is that wood, as it ages, the resins polymerize, they get harder and more resonant, mm -hmm. which is one of the secrets of why old instruments sound better. Yeah. Um, this has been downed from uh, the turn of the century, 1800 to mm -hmm. 1900. And it is from a, 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 a virgin forest, so it grow uninterrupted, uh, slow, steady, uniform growth, and it's denser, it's more resonant, and it's just beautiful. Even if we could find this today, we wouldn't use it yeah. because it's contrary to our ethos of being protective of the environment. Um, that wood uh, belongs in uh, refuges and reserves, and it just shouldn't be messed with again. Luckily, uh, this wood comes from the construction of the Benathern Brynathen Cathedral in Pennsylvania at the turn of the last century, and it's left over from that project. So we get the benefit of uh, better sounding wood, um, uh, a better looking wood, and a responsible harvest and a beautiful yeah. story. Uh, one of the things I notice about this East Indian that differs from the East Indian that we usually use on our builds, which is wonderful in itself, is the, uh, the color and the densities very specific and different on this one, very special. I've never felt Indian like this before. It is, um, uh, you know, unique in, in the modern day of acquiring Indian rosewood. And Indian rosewood is, in general, you could say, is a warmer tone, mm -hmm. a little slower, a little more blended, which is perfect for, for styles of music that would require that. Uh, this is denser, harder, um, it will have a brighter, clearer, more articulate tone for the styles where that's required. And here's a very cool thing. Uh, because the wood has a name, doesn't fix it to a particular sound. There can be quite a bit of variety. Yeah. So a modern plantation grown Indian compared to this, this is going to sound a lot more like Brazilian. Yeah. In fact, they could even switch places. So get this. Uh, a, a more modern uh, cut piece of Brazilian that grew lower elevation near a waterway and grew really quickly, mm -hmm. you, you would actually switch the description of woods yeah. between that and this. That would be more like a, a, an older Indian rosewood. So uh, this is going to be uh, a guitar that would be hard to determine that it was Indian rather yeah. than Brazilian if you were just listening to it. In fact, I don't know, I can tell the difference. Um, uh, you know, the, just the, the, the sonority, the resonance uh, that will come out of this is remarkable. And again, it's because it grew slow, steady, dense, um, and uh, uniform. And not to mention it has a beautiful color, like yeah. you've said. <laughs> so I'm really excited to use this and offer it while we can. And I don't see us replacing it. Yeah. And I don't see, you know, maybe we'll find an old post office that's <laughs> torn down, right, yeah. someday. Uh, but not in the foreseeable future. It's a great opportunity for a beautiful wood. Thanks, Richard. We have very, very limited sets available. So please contact one of our certified dealers. You can find them on our website. If you have any questions, just feel free to give us a call or email us here at the shop. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks, Richard. We're wood crazy here. <laughs>